Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 with the latest Early Cretaceous DLC. Uh, we're going to showcase in this video all the flying reptiles. Uh, there's enough flying reptiles to keep us going for a while. Uh, but before I even start, this would not be possible without the wonderful Wonders GTA Gaming 100% save file and this is his world <laughs> so anyway guys if you want to know how to do that I have left a link in the description to wonder wonders GTA gaming and he has got a load of Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos on his channel it's absolutely brilliant so uh, I haven't thankfully I haven't had to spend 20 odd hours just trying to get to the end of the game because it's rather frustrating for me but hey less about that how about going to show you the wonderful flying creatures and we've got them all ready they are superb guys absolutely superb there's a feeder all set up i've had to put a second uh second hatchery in to make sure we get them if i click on this one here i just want to say to you uh, what's wonderful, go to this empty one here because we can just sympathize, sympathize dinosaur. This is the new Desungareptus, which came out yesterday. Was it yesterday? And I've got the Ultimate Edition as well. Uh, so I've got all the creatures uh, to show you. And one thing that's really cool is, is on this new updated version, is that when you come to these creatures, uh, say the Pteranodon, which I had to do twice because it only gave me one egg, but modify, when you modify a new thing that's really brilliant is this pattern colour. So rather than choose a colour, and there are so many colours, I've just put it on a pattern colour. Which means you get like a potluck when the eggs come out. So we don't know, I don't know what's going to hatch guys. I know I've got loads of eggs, but I don't know what colours we are going to get. So we're going to start in order. We're just going to start with this one over here. Here we go. Shall we release the first lot? And also there's some talking about some of the creatures which I'm leaving on. I won't over talk that. So let's go with the Ceredactylus. Ceredactylus first. Release the dinos, guys. My name is George Lambert. Now... You'd think that dealing with prehistoric animals would be a problem. And you'd be right, as you probably discovered. But it's the unpredictability that really keeps us on our toes. Sure, the scientists can bring dinosaurs back, but fences keep them in. And without them, the fences, I mean, none of this is possible. Wow. So we're in 4K, guys. Honestly, oh. the flying animals concern me the most from a security standpoint. We can round up escape land animals, but when they take to the sky, all bets are off. This is the Sayarodactylus, and we need to make sure it stays confined to the aviary. The only known species of this animal before today was named after the Latin name for frightful. And that should tell you something. So, absolutely cool. And you can see the subtle difference. I kept the base color the same and changed like the secondary color. So we've got like some different ones as such. We've got three, we have three hatched then. One, two with the red head. That's with the red head. That's number two with a red head there. Wowzer. And number three is over here hiding with an orange head. But I've kept the uh, base colors. So there are three. There are three. And they are super cool. I mean, you can see here from the, uh, the graphics in 4K, they just look absolutely wonderful. <laughs> right, so we got these in. So basically I've turned all killing stuff off, guys. There's no killing. I might turn it back on at the end. But uh, we're going to show you the next one now. So, Dimorphodon. Let's release the dinosaurs. Oh, how many have we got? Six. Six, guys. Here we go. Oh, look at those colours. Welcome to your future and our past. I'm Claire Deering. I used to be management, until things went awry. Now I'm more of an advocate. John Hammond wanted a world with dinosaurs, and I want us to take care of them. I hope you do as well. Now you'd think a mouthful of teeth would be scary enough, but this animal, the Dimorphodon, actually has two distinct types of teeth in its jaws, and it flies. Well, more accurately, glides. 
Well, there you have it, guys. Absolutely superb. So I was trying to see the difference. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, we. Oh, here comes the uh, the drone. <laughs> but I just love these creatures. I know a lot of people don't like the Dimorphodon. I've seen some comments on it that they don't like it. I suppose even though we've got different colours here, the colours aren't that. Let's go back to that one. That was sort of more reddy orange one. We'll go back to that one. That's a yellowy green one. Uh, yeah, so there's not too much. I know this. I've seen one with the red. Oh, 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 yes. Look at this. Oh, wow. It is excellent. Let's go and watch this feed. Go on. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, my God. Look at the feeding at the zoo. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, he's gone. That is just superb. Wow. Oh, there's the one with the red. See the red on the head? It's got more orange pronounced on the side. The red lines on the head here. Superb. Right, let's go and get the next dinosaur. Flying reptile out. So next is the new one, guys, that came out two days ago with the DLC. Although, why you have to pay for it? I don't know if I got the ultimate version, but there we go. Let's go and release. How many have we got? Three of these. Oh, they run. There's more than three. What happened there? Have you had a chance to meet Isaac Clement? His job is to make what we do here with the dinosaurs entertaining. Because these animals need more than just care. They need to be understood. And if people enjoy their time with the dinosaurs, they're more likely to support our cause. I'm not sure about you, but I've not seen anything like this before. Check it out, the Sungariptorus. This pterosaur would use its curved jaws like a crowbar, levering shellfish out of the mud before cracking them open with their blunt teeth. That's pretty resourceful, huh? I would say so. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that one with the blue. Oh, I like that. Do like that a lot, that one. So that's got a blue crown crest. Oh, that's got a green crest. That's got a different green crest. I love the fact we've got all these different colors. That's the red, red crest. Back for that one there. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? <laughs> yes, hello. Wow. That is just superb. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Uh, next up, guys, we have the Geoster Burgia. Oh, this is this is a new good one. Listen, release the dinos. Two dinosaurs, it says. But we have more. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the difference in the crest. If you don't think nature can be bonkers at times, then you've never laid eyes on this newest animal, the Geosternbergia. However, it is apparently graceful in the air. Not that it I is. Know, but isn't that <laughs> your job? They're still feeding down there. The dust around. They are really, 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 really cool. <laughs> so that's got like a that's got like a different head on it, hasn't it? Superb. Wow, they seem to be quite spaced out as well in terms of that. There's a... Oh, superb. Oh. oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next one is the... Oh, Aridax Maradactylus. The... Oh, yes. Two dinosaurs? I think there's more than that. Is there only two in this one? Oh, yes. Oh. 
Okay, this latest animal is also a flyer, the Maradactylus. Its name is based on an ancient legend of a chief's daughter. Her name was Mara, turned by sorcery into a river monster with long teeth that devoured fishermen. <laughs> Change a few of the details and this could be my ex. Oh, very good. Let's get rid of some of that rubbish. <laughs> oh, are we going to sit down? Oh, look at that. Landed like a, a Volto helicopter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay. So what do, do we have? We've emptied that hatcher there. So let's just go to this hatchery. We have, oh, we're, we're going to have to release two Pteranodons because it only had one egg with this one. So if I release this one first. Oh. Oh. I love the orange under the wings. No talking with this one. No talking with this one. Right, let's release... The other one, and then this one over here, I feel. Where are way? Let's get rid of the other Pteranodons. There's two here, guys. Oh, yes. Seems to be all the same. I haven't got the one with the, one with the red head from Jurassic Park. They look evil, just like Jurassic Park in the Avery. Oh, look at that. They've really captured that evil. Oh. Yep. And there is a red one as well with the red head, like the one in Jurassic Park. That is excellent. Excellent. So next up, we have got one of my favourite all-time flying reptiles, Tapajara. Tap, I say Tapajara, 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 how many have we got? Only got two, oh five, we got five guys, we got five. <gasps> Whoa, oh yes, that's three different colours straight away. Oh, one of mine's ill already, I thought I turned off everything about being ill. What's a show without fireworks? That's what this next animal gives us. Aerial color and excitement. And check out that sail behind its head. Spectacular. Oh, I, I meant to say that this is a Tapajara, one of our more interesting flying species. If you couldn't have guessed by now, I'm a fan. I think you should be too. They are absolutely gorgeous. I thought I turned on so all the animals would be fine. Obviously not. Obviously they got a bit of poison there. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh, this is one with a... It cleaning? Are you cleaning? Wow. Superb. Right. Okay. They are absolutely wonderful. I wanted to see the others. One's there. That just because uh, uh, we did that one before. That's the one sitting down. That's the red orange one flying. And the green one. And the green one. There are so many different varieties. Right. Last but not least, guys. The Tropicanthus. Oh, I, w I wish we would get a big... Oh, there's only two in this one. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, guys. Oh, yes. We've got two different beaks. The Tropiognathus is one of the larger pterosaurs and is known for its keel-tipped snout. In the aviary, should make for one heck of a draw. <laughs> Excellent. Superb. Look at the yellow and oh, the golden, I call it. Oh, fight! Well, 
I thought I'd t Oh, something because they've all started fighting each other now. Oh, that's got blood on it. You obviously have to have more than one Avery, of course. Flipping heck. Well, that's good. We like to see that. Anyway, just to finish off, the other one is here. Look at all the sand. Sand put up for there. Oh, the drone's up there as well. They are superb. They're all superb. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. He's obviously ill. But hey, you were fighting. You were fighting, guys. So there we have it. That was just a showcase for you all. I'm going to have to work out why it shouldn't. I didn't expect all the creatures to go there. That's probably what I've got the settings. But as you can see, guys, uh, we had some fantastic creatures here. And that one's not so well as well, even though it's feeding. They're all really, really good. I thought we... Uh, it may be the fact that uh, I accidentally turned off the automated... Yeah, automated... Working, this entire anyway. operation started with a dream that was realized through science. For that, we can thank Dr. Henry Wu. There we go. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do Whatever next stuff. Oh. Oh. I feel like I've lost one of my own. Oh. Right, next time, guys, we're going to do the... Uh, we're going to do the new water-based creatures, including the Chronosaurus. So look out for that video. I'll be doing that next it's truly amazing. Again, a big thank you to Wonders GTA Gaming. Link in description for posting his save file and obviously doing this world. You can download this world. Uh, it is really, really good. And thank you very much. And bye-bye.